reptilian entities. Look at the eyes and the mouth. Oh my God. That's the so called. Look at it. God, the small reptilian entities. And this guy doesn't understand that this entity can shrink and appear to be tiny. They use electromagnetism as something that people have no concept. Dr. Bergron explained that. In, uh, it took me watching three times the same video until I finally figured out what that man was saying without saying too much because he was fearing for his life. And sure enough, they tried to poison him. He even pointed out at the creatures on the moon, on the Apollo 12, when they were imitating the landing module. And this is them. Right there. Look at him. The eyes and everything. They call themselves legion. That's what they are. A legion of demonic reptilian entities. what they are. Look at them. They can shrink to the size of a tiny grain of sand if they wanted to and be there listening to you. And on the outside they look that tiny a grain of sand. <clears throat> and on the inside they are exactly the same size as we are. Uh, they use uh, something called uh, scalar technology, which is not just, uh, you know, what they talk about, the uh, weather modification, and it's way more than that. It's hyperdimensional deal. And that's why they are able to do these tricks, float in a tiny little a speck of light around the space shuttle and they say, whoa, what was that? It was them inside a tiny little thing, which is in reality only a reflection, a holographic reflection of themselves in a tiny little speck, but in reality is they are the size normal. But it look on the outside to us, our perception, a tiny little thing like in this case. <clears throat> and they are interested in him because he, he found the ships. Look at that. He found their sentinel craft and they, they know that he knows something, he just doesn't know who. But I do. That's what they are. And look, they all have the same thing. Faces, 
eyes, and a little dinosaur look, reptilian. Little de de little de devils, tiny little de you know demonic li looking little things, but they're not little things at all. They have the power to destroy your ass if they wanted to. They just play with us like a cat playing with a tiny mouse. That anytime he can just clock his destroy and kill him. The only way to see them is by changing the settings in this 55 inch monitor, which is really a TV, a flat panel LG TV with 8 million to 1 refresh a pixel refresh rate. Adapted as the screen of the computer with a VGA cable fitting pins mail to mail. That's all. You have a laptop, you're never gonna see a damn thing. I don't care how how kick ass the graphic looks in that laptop. It's a tiny little laptop screen. This is a 55 inch Let me show you this Left eye, right eye And there's another tiny little face right here With the same right eye, left eye And then another one here Another one here Is what they call themselves Legion her name is Legion. That's what they told Jesus. Or oh, Emmanuel. I doubt that Jesus was the real name of that man. Jesus is Jesus in Spanish. Who the hell is going to be named Jesus in an Arab country? That doesn't make, that was Roman made crap. Emperor Constantine made that up. Because Emperor Constantine was there. The one that allow this uh, the Bible to be put together out of so many scrolls. And the Bible really is is a second edition copy of the tale of the Sumerians, what is in the Old Testament. 
the whole genesis and all of that is it has been taken directly from the book of the dead in Egypt and the Sumerian tablets which were thousands of years older than any scrolls ever found. Clay tablets last longer than a piece of paper and Enki have a, a human apprentice to write down everything he told, his own story and the story of his planet Nibiru, or Nibiru, whatever you want to call it, the planet of crossing. And those, they were a reptilian race. And I don't think they ever left. I think those are the same reptilians mixed with some other reptilians that are more advanced than the ones that, that are keeping the rings of Saturn and you see the big cylindrical craft and these ones. They say they could manipulate uh, all kinds of things, the mind of the persons and so to me every person that say that he was uh, visited and taking a board craft and they look like blonde hair and blue eyes and, and no, no, that's the perception they put on that person's mind. In reality, nobody comes here without those entities permission. Uh, they control everything. They create natural disaster. They feed off our emotions from, from horror to pain to anger and suffering and all that. Happiness? No, no. That ain't no, no, hell no. No from that. Those entities are diabolical. They, they don't destroy us because they need us to feed off of those emotions like vampires. You have a, a bunch of cattle, you're not going to kill all of them because you want to have a supply, of, you know, new cows and, you know, And the larger the group of emotional distress, the better for them. Look at this dark hair one right here. It's like the all encased or divided by a thing. This one is right here, the eye right there, look. He has like a nose and, a, and then he, project, he has like two sets of eyes. This top one and this one right here. And the mouth. They are really nasty and weird looking asses. Look how Leonard, he say that they were above his house. That, that means they are showing to him. They don't give it them. They don't care if you see them. There's nothing you can do. Nothing. That's what they're telling him or anyone else. I do whatever I please and then the damn thing 